These days, Ricky Fowler is clearly the benchmark for OSU golf. If you're a cowboy and you can do something Ricky never did, now that's a big deal. Today, Victor Hovland had the chance to do what Ricky never did, which was hold up a U.S. Amateur Championship trophy. Hovland trying to become the fifth cowboy to ever win it. Only UCLA's Devin Bling and 36 match play holes in his way. Javi getting hot early. 11th hole, the birdie puts him at five up. Victor, and then they you would find the beachy parts of Pebble Beach. Hole. Good thing that didn't hurt his game one bit. Look at the awesome chip right here on 19. He'd go on to win the hole. Hovland four up on the 28th hole, needing par here to have the hole. He is clutch with the putter. Jump to the 31st hole. Bling now needs this long birdie to fall to keep the match going, but it's long. That means Hovland wins it six and five. Gives a nice big hug there to OSU head coach Alan Bratton. Victor's the first Norwegian to ever win the U.S. Amateur Championship and will now get to play in next year's Masters in U.S. Open. I want to play professional golf and uh, I, I want to be successful and um, this is obviously a really, really cool stepping stone. I have a lot of doubts. I doubt myself all the time and uh, this is a good thing to have behind me to know that, okay, I, I am capable of, capable of doing stuff like this. Lots of Twitter love for Javi after the win. Mike Gundy right here. Nice message tweeted out from Jack Nicholas. And then look, even OU's Brad Dalkey taking the high road, the Sooner tweeting out congrats. Speaking of Mike Gundy, he announced his quarterback pecking order tonight and did so with a sureness about Taylor Cornelius being his starting quarterback. Gundy said he's been amazed by how quickly grad transfer Drew Brown and true freshman Spencer Sanders have picked up the offense. At the start of camp, it really sounded like those guys could challenge Cornelius for the starting job. But lately, the questions really just become, who's Cornelius' backup? Well, it's Drew. Drew's the backup. Um, Spencer is just a little bit behind him due to maturity. Um, so we, we've got him as one, two, three right now, and, and Keandre's at the four. In 13 days, Oklahoma's defense will finally be able to fully put that Rose Bowl nightmare to bed. A college playoff game that we remember an embarrassment for OU's defense allowing 54 points to the Georgia Bulldogs. OU's defense clearly needs to improve from that. Last year the Sooners ranked 81st in yards allowed, 52nd in points allowed per game. Defensive coordinator Mike Stoops said this defense is the youngest he's had, but it's also a very talented deep group and it sounds like a pretty confident one. I think our motto is just proving to ourselves that we can be that top five defense in the country. You know what I mean? Just coming out each and every day, putting the pieces together, and just putting it together as a whole. Uh, I feel like if we, if we just all play as one, which I feel like we, we, we've been doing, I just feel like we just do that on a consistent basis, basis, we'll be able to stop anybody in the country. Earlier this week, TU football announced that on September 15th, mark your calendars, anyone who participates in the Alzheimer's Awareness Walk will get free tickets to that night's game against Arkansas State. It's a great thing the school's doing. Head coach Philip Montgomery's family's been hard hit by the Alzheimer's disease. He and his wife Ashley have worked hard to raise awareness about it and recently energized the school and the city to team up to fight the disease. My mother has the disease and it's a killer. We know that. This is, for Ashley and I, this is our way to fight it. For some teams, the high school football season starts this week. For Muskogee, they'll have to wait a little bit. The Ruffers don't start until August 31st. Muskogee will be looking to get back to their 2016 form when they reach the 6A2 semifinals. Last year, the Ruffers just went 5-5. Five and five. They do have a lot of new faces on this year's squad. On offense, check this out, Muskogee doesn't have any returning starters whatsoever. This team will lean on its veteran defensive line heavily. Now, back in 2016, many of these Muskogee guys they beat the only two teams that have ever won the 6A2 state title, that being Bixby and Booker T. Washington. So they believe they can do that again this year as the Ruffers look to bring home their first gold ball since 1986. We know that we've done it before, so we just got to stay focused, stay together, you know, be humble and just, just know that we can do anything we put our minds to. We know that those are the teams to beat if you want to be in the district race or if you want to be in the state championship race. We want to be in that spotlight as well. A lot of people are doubting us because we're young and inexperienced, but I feel like with the hard work, we're going to go out there and surprise a lot of people.
Here's your preseason rankings from Barry Lewis at the Tulsa World just out today. 6A1, it's Union, Broken Arrow, Owasso, then Jenks in the top four. Here's 6A2, it's Booker T. Washington opening up at number one. Bixby second, Sand Springs sixth, Muskogee seventh, Sepulpa in there at tenth. In 5A, Carl Albert is the top dog. Sky took third in the preseason poll. Collinsville fifth, Coweta seventh, Bishop Kelly and Edison ninth and tenth. And finally, in 4A, Wagner, even though they didn't win the title last year, number one to start the preseason, Katusa 5th, Uliga 6th, Bristow 9th, and Hilldale in at 10th.